everybody, it's Starved here. Welcome to the channel. It's time for another TV series review. This time I'm going to be reviewing Good Omens, the series that is exclusively on Amazon Prime. Yeah, this is the first Amazon Prime series that I've watched all the way through, so I'm very excited to talk about it. Good Omens is based off of a novel written by the legendary Neil Gaiman, and this is a six-part mini-series. So this is all about these angels and demons. You have Aziraphale, who is an angel, and you have Crawley, who is a demon. And through these two uh, entities in the universe, they have lived for thousands of years, and they have a big job that is on their hands, because they have to follow the Antichrist. And that's what Crawley's job is, to bring the Antichrist into the fold, and to make him create Armageddon. But Things happen and Crawley and Azarafel become good friends even though they shouldn't be because they're on opposite ends of fate and well that's where the story goes and it comes to a very thrilling and an epic conclusion. So getting to the things that I really enjoyed about this series is first off David Tennant plays Crawley and I love David Tennant ever since watching Doctor Who he was the 10th Doctor then he was also as Kilgrave as a villain in Jessica Jones and David Tennant has never been bad in anything I've seen him in and this is definitely no exception this was so fun to watch David Tennant act as this character that is just so teetering on the edge of insanity. He's a demon, but he's got a good heart and soul, and he still likes to play and have fun with messing with people because he's a demon. And you could just tell that David Tennant had a great, great time just acting, having a blast. What's really fun about this series, too, is that it goes, like I said, all throughout time and history. So you see many different looks that David Tennant has as the character of Crawley. But there are other, also other characters such as Michael Bikin who played Chuck in Better Call Saul. And man, this guy, he really killed it as this character that is a witch finder. And he is so set in his beliefs that there are these evil things. And he thinks he's exercising these witches and whatnot. And it's just hilarious to see how he is just so taken back by everything that's happening. And Michael Sheen, of course, who plays uh, the character of Aziraphale. I don't know if I've ever actually seen Michael Sheen play in anything. But he was also really good as well. The whole vibe of this show is very zany. It's, it, you know, it's, it's basically like a British show, so you can expect that kind of humor if you're a fan of Sherlock Holmes, if you're a fan of, again, Doctor Who, I think you're going to really love this series because it's got that, that really uh, interesting humor because we're dealing with something that's so grim as the end of the world, you know, the four horsemen of the apocalypse and everything else, hell and brimstone and all this stuff, but there's a really nice way that they kind of play with the plot here and they go all over the place. It's, it's kind of crazy at times, but it definitely plays in the favor of this being a six part mini series. I think that the narration also helps it feel like it's more of an adaptation. You have narration throughout and it definitely has uh, some, some things that were thankfully uh, explained by the narrator. I, I really appreciated that. I don't really watch a lot of TV series or movies in that fact that actually have narration. And speaking of movies, I will say for the first time watching a Prime series that, man, their production quality is really good. Uh, the sets, the costumes, the CGI just looked like anything I would see on a on a movie screen. This could have been like a trilogy of movies, really, if you split it. You know, it's about six hours worth of content. They could have done three movies if they really wanted to. The music was fantastic. They really played a lot of uh, music from Queen. And I think that overall, this was a, a pretty good production. It's not, you know, a perfect series by any means. I'm going to get into that now. I think the plot definitely has a lot of unnecessary elements and it almost goes off on tangents purposely which is kind of fun because they they have a lot of that kind of uh punny humor and different things like that when it goes like back back and then forward and you're like wait where are we what's going on so there's a few parts definitely in the middle i think that this series starts off really strong it kind of meanders a little bit in the, in the middle but then it definitely ends with a nice thrilling conclusion I do think that it didn't feel like, you know, you're dealing with Armageddon, but for whatever reason, I don't think that there's much risk for these characters. I felt like Azarafel and Crawley, but, you know, they're angels and demons. What can happen to them? They're pretty much immortal. So that kind of left off like, okay, they're dealing with the Armageddon, the apocalypse. People are going to die, but our main characters that we care about, nah, they don't really have any kind of tension built up there. There was also this plot with the Antichrist, this kid, 
And I felt like that could have been handled a little bit better. It felt like everything with that storyline just felt felt flat to me. It just didn't really have enough uh, character development in the characters that were the friends and, and the Antichrist himself. So that, you know, everything all said and done, I would have to rate this one an 8 out of 10 for the first Prime series I've watched. I was very, very impressed and very entertained all the way through this series. I think it will be one that is worth watching, especially if you have Amazon Prime. Now I'm very interested to check something else out on Prime. Yes, the streaming wars continue, but I am happy to say that this is one of the better streaming shows that I've seen in the last couple of years. So what would you guys think of Good Omens? This one has been out since 2019, so I'm getting to this one a little bit late. But the cool thing is I'm finally getting to my backlog of TV and video games. So if you don't see me posting much on here, it's because, well, I'm trying to catch up on all that stuff right now. For more on TV series and lots more on Star Wars, you are in the right place. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel as that is the easiest way to support me here. I've been doing the Outer Rim Transmission series of videos where I bring on guests throughout the Star Wars community to talk about anything Star Wars. So make sure you go ahead and check out those videos. That's going to do it for me, Star Raptor. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.